Red Bay Tiger football coaches show is on the air with Red Bay Tiger head coach Michael Jackson. Your host for the Tiger football coaches show is Jack Ivey. Hello again and welcome into the Red Bay High School Football Coaches Show. I'm Jack Ivey along with Coach Michael Jackson who will be joining us in just a minute. And I can tell you right now he's an excited coach uh, here after a big win Friday night over Cobbert County. Now, if you look at the stats compared to the rest of the season, you know, we've been, you know, 300 yards rushing the week before and uh, just major yardage each and every week. Now, Friday night, if you look at the stats, 188 yards total offense. You said, boy, the Tigers struggle Friday night. We did play an outstanding ball club in Colbert County, and I'm going to say I haven't seen their stats. I'm going to say their stats is, uh, is not that good either. But, Coach, uh, we're going to bring him in right now. You don't care what the stats are <laughs> with a W on the board, and you did what you had to do to win, and uh, great job. Well, uh, you know, we, we, first of all, we appreciate everybody coming out for the game. Uh, we knew it was going to be a big game. We had a great pet rally. Uh, Coach Kirkendall and him do a great job with that. And, uh, kids were really, really excited, uh, and you know, for a big game like that, you know, our kids uh, played extremely hard. Uh, the game uh, they ended up with 140 yards. Uh, their their running back who rushed for 338 yards the week before against Addison, he ended up with 103 yards, and he's the um, the number one rusher in North Alabama. So, uh, defense with Coach Purcher, Coach Majerice did a great job getting our guys in right in, in the right positions. Um, and time and time again, we kept stepping up and, and making big plays. Uh, you know, I told you before we come on the air that I think the game was won um, in a handful of plays. And <clears throat> basically, it comes down to fourth down plays. You know, we were five for five on fourth downs. We, co we converted three fourth downs on the first drive of the game, including a fourth and two to score. In the second half, we had a fourth and one where we scored a, a touchdown pass. And then the last play of the game, a fourth and two to run the clock out. Uh, defensively, we stopped them twice on fourth down, uh, which was big right there at the end of the game. Uh, on the 20-yard line, we come up big there and, and, and stopped them. And uh, Alex Kennedy made a big play on uh, a fourth down in the third quarter to get them stopped. And then we stopped them right before the half. They got down to the one-yard line, and um, uh, they decided to run an ISO play at Cam McKinney. And uh, that's probably not a good idea for you. And we stopped them, and the clock ran out. So I, I think those, those plays uh, – you know, mixed in with us not letting them outside and kind of, you know, we was really worried about their speed. Uh, but I think those plays are, are, the, are the major factor in the game. Uh, but a great overall effort by our offensive line, of course, blocked really well all night. Our running backs, Kobe, run good. Uh, we had a big pass play there by Kobe Bragg. Uh, he played an outstanding game on defense. So it was just uh, probably the, the best effort uh, team-wise that, that I've seen from us in, in years as far as everybody being right on point. Of course, if you hadn't had a chance to watch the replay, you need to watch the replay, and especially after the game, the post-game talk with uh, Coach Jackson talking to the guys and also talking to Keith. Uh, Coach, you were kind of pumped up after that game. and uh, Yeah, i got to keep remembering we got cameras there. Sometimes I forget that. And microphones, <laughs> right? Uh, microphones, too, Microphones, yes. too. Microphones <laughs> normally is worse than cameras and stuff, but – Coach, I will tell you this, that you did scare me to death going for it on fourth down. Uh, <laughs> I'm hoping Coach is knowing what he's doing right here. And uh, that's one of them, uh, uh, as you said, you know, you, you're doing what you do to keep the ball out right. of the other guys' hands when they've uh, got a lot of speed. But it was just an outstanding effort. Uh, Red Bay Tigers winning over Colbert County uh, by a score of 12 to 7. I got one other question. If you had surveyed uh, everybody in the stands uh, – I don't know how many, of course, hopefully all of them would believe the Red Bay Tigers was going to win, but on paper and the way everybody was talking in the media right. and the sports world out there, they was not giving us as much a chance. Right. Well, you know, they were a top ten team. Uh, they're one of the uh, best known programs in North Alabama as far as uh, through the years. Uh, they just come off a uh, beating an Addison team that, that was one of the best teams we've played in a couple of years when we went down there and played them. Um, just just running the ball up and down the field with 500 yards offense on them. So uh, that kind of plays into it. You know, all the people over the uh, Times Daily covering area, they all six, we were, we were one of the top five games, and they all six picked against us. And I reminded them, them of that after the game, too. Um, 
So, you know, not many people gave us a chance, but the guys in the locker room, and that's, that's really what it comes down to. That's where it came. Let's go to the highlights of the game. Once again, the Red Bay Tigers, uh, big victory 12-7. to And, uh, Coach, are you captains for this week? Tanner, uh, Engel, Noah, and, uh, and Bragg. I think that little senior group right there has done a really good job uh, pulling everybody together. Not a very big class, and um, a couple of those guys have just come back out. Uh, didn't play um, for a couple years there. What's your strategy on getting guys out of the study hall or maybe getting them back out or maybe even getting them out first well, time? Well, it used to be easy. I would, uh, I, it's, it was easy to talk them into it. Now it's getting a little harder. <laughs> Uh, the kids got so much things going on now, right. and and football uh, is it, it's, it's time consuming. It takes a lot of time, and we we, we put a lot of time into it, and uh, so you've got to really uh, you've got to really want to be out there and crave that atmosphere uh, to really want to uh, be a part of it. Because you're asking for a big commitment. You're asking for a big commitment, but you're getting a big reward too. I mean, uh, you know, you do good out there on the field. <laughs> Pretty much everybody in North Alabama knows who you are. That's right. If you're good in football. And it's going down, looks like to about the Coach, we get the football first? Well, we keep working on, on, our, on our, our, our kickoff return team. We changed it a little bit, but, you know, we're still not doing really well with that. And we've got we've to work on that. We've still had a few fumble snaps. We did have two turnovers. And, uh, you know, that was pretty big. Uh, penalties. Somehow we, we overcome that. Did we only have uh, one penalty? We only had one penalty. So uh, that was an extremely good job right there. Uh, Kobe ran hard all night. This is uh, He made a bunch of runs like that right there that got us five or six yards. And we go for it on fourth down. Uh, maybe down this, on this play. But, yeah, I guess it was on this play. We go for it on fourth down right here. Well, this is the same play he ran on the, on the third down at the end of the game to get us fourth and two because it was actually second and eight. And, and we wouldn't have been able to go for it if it was any more than two yards. Right. So, uh, great catch right here. A uh, one-handed catch by Mason Holt. That's a nice picture they had in the paper of him doing that. And uh, We didn't know it was one-handed until we seen right. it after the game. Somebody had a picture of it from the other sideline. And uh, he just he, he actually caught it one-handed and brought it into his body one-handed. Uh, they were extremely quick uh, in the secondary. Number threes uh, got a lot of speed. And you see he picked off a pass on us. Uh, and he just made a great break on it. Uh, but them guys were really, really strong back there. Linebackers were extremely strong. You can see how close they are to the line. Uh, but, you know, 220, 230, both of them. Uh, so it was, uh, it, it was a tough sled. And you see, we tried to get outside some the other night. And if you notice, we never didn't. Right. <laughs> we never did get, we were able to get out. Uh, never were able to get outside. But th their speed at linebacker really hurt us on our, our sweep play stuff. Uh, because sometimes we can't block those inside backers, but we outrun them. Uh, and we couldn't outrun those, the, the guys from Carp County, so that kind of put us at a disadvantage. Great job right there by Colin. I thought Colin had a great game again. Uh, just run hard inside and, and made some really good key blocks. Um, he, you know, he's that power back right there, so he is most of the time uh, his blocks are the ones that spring the tailback. So Colin had a great game. Of course, the defensive front, I mean, the defensive front played unreal. Alex and Engel and uh, Levi Blanton. Levi Blanton had a huge game. You know, he had a, he had a big time sack in that game and a, a lot of plays. And Logan Scott, I think those guys played solid. But the offensive line, you know, they just keep kind of doing their thing. Sometimes them boys are hard to move. Look at that run by Colin. That's a really good run, inside run there. But, you know, they're very big inside. You see big 76, and they had a big number 72. And, you know, they got a couple three 300 pounders in there. Uh, so we had to fight those guys all night. But I thought Dylan, Levi Raper, and uh, Noah Haynes, and uh, Caleb Seeley, and, and, and Engel, and Logan, all of them did a good job up front. And, uh, of course, we get, we get it in on quarterback sneak. That was on fourth down. So you've already seen three fourth downs. And we just started. <laughs> hey, this uh, coaches show, the Red Bay High School Football Coaches Show, is being brought to you by Dr. Larry Stutz. He's, of course, a state senate candidate running for re-election on the Republican side. So when you go to the polls, don't forget to vote for Dr. Larry Stutz and also Dr. Uh, not Dr. but uh, Mr. Robert Aderholt. He is, of course, in the 4th Congressional District, wanted to help sponsor the Coaches Show. And Mr. Aderholt, we appreciate you and also Dr. Larry Stutz for making the Coaches Show possible. Coach, we go for two and... Yeah, we, um, 
you know, they kind of, it's, 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 it's kind of tough sledding up inside there. You know, we ended up with a 78, pay, uh, 78 yard drive, and I think it was 14 or 15 plays, and kept the ball for right at nine minutes, and that's kind of the uh, way we wanted to start the game. Uh, try to put a little pressure on them, make them, uh, you know, they come out here and make two penalties in a row. So, you know, we want to put a little pressure on them, make them try to do something uh, offensively that they're not uh, good at doing. And, uh, you know, I think we do a good job on this first drive. They come out and uh, we, get them, we get them tackled and get them down here. They, they incomplete two passes and we get the ball back. So I think we come out with a, a good first drive on both sides, offense and defense. Great tackle right there by Kobe. I think Kobe played uh, by far the best defensive game I've seen a free safety play for us in a long time. Uh, you see he was up there for that tackle, and you see he's back there for that pass. Uh, just did a, had, a, had an excellent uh, instincts in this game, and Coach Person then put him in the right spot, and he really paid off. Red Bay up right now by six to nothing, and with the football here, you're watching, of course, the Red Bay High School Football Coaches Show. Jack Ivey, along with good run right there, Coach Michael Jackson, and Coach, that was a big time run. That there. was Hunter Hunter uh, King, and you're gonna see more and more of him. He's a sophomore. Uh, Kobe's his older brother, and he runs hard too. And good run right there by uh, by Colin. But those guys are doing a good job at tailback, and you know, running the offense that we're running, um, you've got to have a good tailback that runs hard inside. And it's hard to get outside on, on, on most people that we play, so we have to be in, uh, uh, in there hard. Great job on quarterback sneak. You see Colin made a big block there, and sometimes it's a two-yard gain, and you know, Kobe and them understand that. And uh, When they make a mistake, we, we, get, we capitalize on it. Now, right here, we um, guy makes a great break. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's almost a throwaway right there. Uh, but guy makes a great break on it, and you know, we want, to, we want to clean that up a little bit going on in the future, but um, uh, the guy, guy made a great play. We can't take that away from him. Good job of Levi Blanton right there. I thought Gavin played well up front. Of course, Cam McKinney played unreal right there. You see that one-on-one -on -one tackle. And, you know, he's still got the club on there. Uh, I thought Jake Pounds, uh, number three uh, for us, playing outside linebacker, had the best game by far he's ever played. Uh, I thought he played an excellent game. He's got a club, too. If you didn't notice, we got two guys on defense that's got one arm. As you can see, Kobe and Jake making the, making the play right here. Uh, but Jake made some really big plays in this game at, at, at uh, outside linebacker. One at the end of the game there to make him have a third long. And then uh, great play one time. There's Levi Blanton's sack. Uh, good job by Levi. Of course, I hope you see that a lot in the future, him being a ninth grader. Uh, but uh, Jake made some big plays. There's one on here that you don't even uh, probably see, but the running back cuts back, and if Jake don't make the play, he probably scores. Good job by Kobe catching the fair catch. We kind of overlooked that sometimes. Saves a lot of yardage, didn't Saves it? Saves a lot of yardage, and in years past, we've had a problem with that. <laughs> right. Uh, if we got somebody back there that can't catch it, we just basically let it go to make sure we get the ball, but we lose a couple first downs every game. You can see Kobe right there on the play, uh, making that play on number four. He was one of their really big running backs. Uh, his, his last name is Nance. He's, he was suspended. He didn't even play against Addison. Uh, he didn't play in that game, so I don't, I don't know what the deal was with some at school. But he come back for this game, and he's a really good football player. Uh, uh, I'm talking about he had a big run against Dester, but he had a big-time year last year. Uh, they beat a lot of teams with him playing. So, you know, that made us a little nervous going into the game with him coming back. They get the ball down the two-yard line here. They don't have much time. I think they used their last time out right there. Then they decided to uh, – they good job by uh, Tanner tackling him in bounds. And then they run a little ISO play on the last play with four seconds left. And Cam and Gavin and all those guys stack him up. But that was a huge play in the game, them not scoring and getting points right there at the end of the half. And them also going to get the ball – Starting right, the second right. half, they so. could have uh, that could have hurt us there. That but took our, a little momentum out right there. I guarantee it. Uh, end of the first half, Red Bay Tigers hanging on to a six nothing lead. And don't forget the coaches show being brought to you by Mr. Robert Ader Holt. He's, of course, your fourth congressional district candidate and running for re-election. Going to need your support coming up November six. And we we'll appreciate uh, Mr. Robert Ader Holt and also Dr. Larry Stutz, who is a candidate for running for re-election for the. 
State Senate District 6, also making the Coaches Show possible. By the way, these ads are pay, brought to you and paid for by each individual candidate. That was the big third down play that Jake made on the back side of that because uh, that forced a punt, and we had a lot of guys that step up in big situations, but you know that third down play was huge for us to get the ball back. Get the ball in decent field position. And Good hard run right there by Kobe. You mentioned sometimes you get a yard or half yard or two yards, and then the next thing you know you get a – Well, you, you got them all up on the line. So when you get through there, you know, you got a good chance. we got to take care of that ball. I think Colin does a good job of getting back on it. Uh, but, you know, we're trying to get down into a, you know, a third and two, a third and three situation. Uh, get them on a little shift right here. Big time uh, third and five to get us the first down. You got to be disciplined up front, and I'm hoping we're able to do that a little bit more toward the end of the year. Trying to get Colin loose inside there. And one of their players, I'm sure, uh, coach didn't like that. You know, he's when he gets through, he says something to the team there, and yeah, that wouldn't uh, gets an unsportsmanlike. That was that five yarder, and there's a 15 yarder. That's that's a big play right that's there. That's costly. But we'll take it. We'll take it. Hard run right there. Got second down. Get it down to within about four yards. And then Kobe makes a good little hard run right here to get us down to about fourth and one or fourth and two right there. Keith, you would have been nervous as a cat Friday night if you'd been there. <laughs> uh, but we, you know, this. That's the, the time you've got to take a chance, and you know we're able to. You've been make saving a great that throw. one, hadn't you? You said that. Yeah, we've been. I've been saving that play for the right moment, and I think that was it. And hadn't run it probably in, since last year a couple times, and, and uh, but it's um, Colin does a great job. Kobe does a great job of getting it over the top. The receivers do a great job of running the, the secondary off, and then we just try to put a linebacker on uh, on Colin to right. make Colin outrun him. You know, they got the size advantage, so we got to use something. So, uh, But a, a big-time play right there. And, of course, I wish we had a, an opportunity to get that two-point playoff. That would have helped a lot. Of course, this That's is a big play right there by Kobe and Engel. I thought Engel played a great game uh, uh, defensively. You can call out about every one of them. I thought Kaiser had a good game uh, in secondary. But you see Jake and, uh, and Bragg were making that play at the end of the game there. And we got the ball back, and, you know, we've got to be able to get a couple first downs. Uh, that was a fourth down play right there. I thought Tanner played a great game too back there. And, of course, Colin at one corner and Kaiser at the other one. I think we were pumped up. I think uh, Kobe's pretty excited right there. No, we're gonna go for it. And then this is, that's the fourth down play right there, you know, that we had to have on our own 28. Uh, but we didn't want to give them the ball back. I, I knew it was going to be in uh, with, about, with about a minute left and giving them the ball back wasn't an option. So uh, I felt like we could get the fourth down, so we were able to do that and take a knee and, and win you, the game. Did you pretty much think we had to come over the top with everybody being in the box like that? Like well, it's just what the situation calls for. And Kobe right. does a good job of knowing when he can do that and when he can't, and he picked a good time to do it. Awesome. 12-7, to 7. Keith, we'll take her back in here. The Red Bay Tigers victorious. Uh, two out of three throwing the ball for Mr. Kobe Bragwell, 60 yards, and they had a, a big touchdown pass of about 23. And uh, another big pass, of course, I, uh, the catch of the night. You know, we had the right. catch of the game uh, Last with, week, with, yeah. with Vincent. With and uh, the catch of the game here, uh, you're talking about going into the highlights. Mason Holt, 37-yard, one-handed catch. And Colin Humphreys had a nice uh, catch, of course, we told you for 23. So. Two out of three throwing the football, 60 yards and a touchdown. We had 46 rushes in the game for 128. Bragwell had 10 carries, 19 for Kobe King. Hunter King had eight and Colin Humphreys nine. And they teamed up all for 128 yards. And it was definitely running the ball Friday night right. was definitely a team effort. So, uh, Coach, i got to ask you a question. Kobe King, younger brother, what's the difference in their style? Uh, what's well, the Kobe's a little bigger, and, uh, you know, just a little bit more mature because he's a year older and, um, you know, they both got a great downhill, what we call downhill lean. Uh, and kind of what we're doing now sets them up. They're both one cut kind of guys. So they like to get, uh, so it's better for them when they're at a true tailback like we are right now. When we're in gun and, um, 
and they're all set, you have to basically move laterally first. And a lot of running backs that's got pure instincts don't like doing that. So these guys run good downhill, and that's kind of what we're doing now. And um, you know, they they complement each other. You have to have uh, running our offense right now. We have to have more than more than one person run the ball. It's just a, it's a grind on you, right? And you're taking a lot of hits. And a lot of times, if you'll notice, if they get through the line, uh, they're usually taking those secondary guys on by themselves. And usually, the, the defense doesn't have as much pursuit uh, because everybody's so tight on the line. So that's the reason we've get, we get we were able to uh, get some of our longer runs the last couple games than we did early in the year. And early in the year, we might have been spread out more, but everybody's speed comes in a factor there. Uh, so, you know, them guys are doing a really good job running the ball. I thought Colin does a good job running the ball. And, uh, our offensive line is doing a good job of blocking what we need to take care of. Uh, so, you know, we got to get better this week and, um, and go forward. Coach, uh, let's give the guys in the trenches uh, a big oh, shout yeah. out, man. I tell you what. <laughs> Uh, I would say those running backs, uh, if they didn't block uh, or rushing, would have been like two yeah, yards. Well, right? you know, it's it, it's a tough deal for um, those guys up front because, you know, defense kind of knows what we're doing, and that's kind of the part of it. You know, we're, we're just saying you're going to have to get in there and take us on, and, and, and you can't dodge us, and you've got to come at us. And our guys do a good job of just doing that over and over and over. And what we're betting on is we can do it longer than you. And that's kind of that's kind of the motto with that. And uh, but you know Noah Haynes and, and Levi Raper and uh, Colin Sides and, and Dylan uh, Dylan Hester and, and Engel and um, Caleb Seeley at fullback and of course Cam come in some the other night you see that we have to use him because he's a big body and I know he's got his club on his hand but we have to use him some because Colin's playing so much both ways and uh, but all them guys together and Mason Holt and Logan Scott are two tight ends uh, together they're they're working as really good as a unit I think. Uh, Offensively, we're doing what we got to have. We're doing what we have to do to be successful. Uh, defensively, I think the last couple of weeks we played eight quarters, six scoreless quarters against two of the better teams in Alabama. I think Coach Purser and Coach Majerice and them is doing a great job with those guys. We kind of have our front back. You know, we had in the middle of the year there when we struggled a little bit. You know, Alex was out. We had a, a, a tackle play to end, so we was not um, didn't have all the the pieces to the puzzle. Uh, since they've been back, uh, we've been playing really well. And uh, we hope we're finding a groove on defense right at the right time. You know, coming back, uh, Alex has made uh, two weeks in a row some yes. big, big stops big, on, four, big on fourth plays. downs. And stuff. Big time plays. But the thing that is, that's more than one position because, uh, you know, the big freshman, uh, Blanton, uh, is having a really, really good year uh, inside at tackle. Uh, you know, it's harder to play outside when you don't have much experience. And people take advantage of that. So, you know, basically, we lost two players when we lost that. Right. We lost half half of our line was still inexperienced. So, uh, you know, we're gonna have to have those guys this week. Uh, Tanner's a huge huge deal for us. Um, you know, that that put the the region in a three way tie for first. Puts us in a really good situation to get a home playoff game. But we've got to take care of our part. We can't worry about the tiebreaker factors. Uh, you know, we got to take care of uh, uh, Tanner and Tharptown and Wilson, and that's our part of it. And you know, like I told the guys yesterday. Um, you know, we got to go to Tanner in tough environment, play a team that's struggled some this year. Uh, they got a good football coach. But they're still that. Tanner. <laughs> they're still Tanner. they got a good football coach. I know that because I coached him. Oh, my Oscar goodness. Oscar Bonds played for me. Right. And uh, he does a great job. Been at Piedmont for 15 years and uh, won some state championships there. So he knows what he's doing. Um, and they got a lot of speed. Uh, so we've got to um, – they just hadn't put it all together this year. So we got to go take care of that, or the things we've done the last couple of weeks uh, doesn't matter much. So you know that game is uh, the the game with Tanner this week is every bit as much as the one with Carpet County because without the game with Tanner, the Carpet County really doesn't matter. Right. So we hope our guys understand that. We hope we got a good crowd going with us because uh, you know to get a home playoff game and be in a good situation, these guys need some support on the road. Sounds good. We appreciate you joining us for the coaches show today. Once again, a special thanks to. Mr. Robert Adderholt, he is, of course, uh, U.S. Congressional District Number 4 there sponsoring us here, and also Dr. Larry Stutz, who's a state Senate candidate on the Republican side. And, uh, of course, I know they both would appreciate your vote and support coming up on November the 6th. And, and um, Coach, uh, I, I say Tanner is Tanner. Uh, <laughs> I love going over to Tanner. They're always very, very nice to us, but they haven't been very nice to us on the school board. <laughs> Uh, they're always hospitable and uh, they do a, uh, do a great job over there. But uh, 
Uh, the Rattlers, I don't think, have been good to us in any sport since I've been doing Red Bay sports for the last 20 years. Well, I, I agree with that. And they've got, they've got some – they don't have a lot of players. Uh, Coach Bonds is getting some more to come out. Um, but they got some very talented guys. They got a big receiver. It's about 6'4". Uh, they scored – you know, they played Addison at Addison last week and uh, went down the field, scored twice in the first quarter on passes. Uh, basically, playing basketball. They got a big dude. They throw it to right. him, and, and uh, he plays jump ball some. And so they're going to stress certain parts of our of our team, and that puts pressure on the rest of them to make sure we do what we do well uh, to take that you know, that pressure off. Because you know I think they're going to throw it sixty five to seventy percent of the time. And when you do that, if you if you happen to be on that night and get some good breaks, then uh, you can put some points up in a hurry. So you know we're going to have our hands full going over there. I hope our kids, um, I know they'll be excited. The last two weeks, I've never seen them as focused as they are right now uh, on doing something really good with this team and putting us in the best situation we can going into the playoffs. Uh, so, uh, you know, we're excited about it. Sounds good. Coach, awesome job. Guys, congratulations. Uh, awesome job. Uh, you could just tell Friday night when they hit the field that they were focused and uh, wanted to come out of there with a big win. And I know that they're going to work hard this week to uh, get ready for those Tanner Rattlers. We'll be there. We'll be on the air about 6.40 with a pregame show. Uh, we'll kick it off at 7 o'clock. And, of course, you can listen to it live on 97.9 FM, AM 1430. If you got cable in the Red Bay area, you can listen to it on TV 12. And you can go to our website, wrmgradio.com. Just click on the Red Bay link and listen to it there. And also, you can actually, uh, if we got the Internet there, good, you can watch it live on the NFHS network. And we got some folks out of town watching it there. So a uh, new little trick we got for you. And also, you can watch the replays, uh, of course, not only of the games, but the coaches show on our YouTube channel. So check that out. So for Keith and our head coach, Coach Michael Jackson, I'm Jack Ivey saying thank you for joining us. We will see you. Now, I'll tell you, I don't want you watching and listening. <laughs> I want you there, right? Right. Tanner, Alabama. Tanner, Alabama. The Friday pit. Night. The pit. Get there early and uh, make a lot of noise for the Red Bay Tigers as they take on Tanner. Y'all have a good one. We'll see you at the game Friday night. You've been watching the Red Bay Tiger Football Coaches Show with Red Bay Tiger Head Coach Michael Jackson. The host for the Red Bay Tiger Football Coaches Show has been Jack Ivey.